Hi, boys and girls. It's Mr. Wassman. And you know what? I love puppies. Who doesn't love puppies? Well, maybe cats, but that's besides the point. Today, we're going to be reading about puppy feeding guidelines and solving number story problems that involve mixed numbers and fractions. We're in our math journals on page 306 and 307. And uh, today, I am just going to demonstrate problem number one. And problem number one is a doozy. It's got lots of parts, lots of steps. Once you and I work through problem number one, the other problems on page 307 will be no problem at all. So let's first of all read up here at the top. It says, a manufacturer of dry puppy food offers the following feeding guidelines for small and toy breeds based on the age of the puppy. All food measurements are given in cups per day. Use the information in the table below to solve the number stories. Use drawings, tables, or equations to show what you did. So, okay. We're going to be looking at two dogs in problem number one. Santiago rescued two shelter puppies. Buddy is five months old and weighs about five pounds. Cody is six weeks old and weighs about 20 pounds. So before we go any further, let's just talk about how much food each one of these dogs needs per day. And of course, we're going to utilize the strategy of ruckus to help us solve that. Ruckus is, of course, reading the problem multiple times, underlining the question, circling important information, coming up with an action plan, and then solving. Now, we haven't gotten to the question yet, so let's just circle a couple of important pieces of information. Buddy is five months old, and he weighs about five pounds. Cody is six weeks old, and weighs about 20 pounds, okay? So if I have two dogs living at my house, I need to feed them both, usually at the same time. And if they're both puppies, I'm going to be digging out of the same bag of puppy food. So let's figure out how much food each of these dogs need. So there's two dogs. There's Buddy. And then there's Cody. It says here... A dog that weighs five pounds and is five months old should get about seven eighths uh, cups of food. I know that because I am looking at the column right here where it talks about the months, five to seven, and I'm looking at the row that talks about the weight, five pounds. And where these two pieces of uh, information intersect, that's my amount, seven-eighths cups. So, Buddy needs seven-eighths cups of food a day. Okay. Cody is six weeks old, so younger. So I'm going to be looking at this column right here. And I'm going to be down at the bottom row where we talked about 20 pounds. So... A six-week-old puppy weighing 20 pounds would need three and a half cups of food. So Cody is going to need three and a half cups of food. So the first task is to figure out what both dogs will need to eat in a day. So that is, I'm going to add seven-eighths cups plus three and one-half cups. Now, let's make that a vertical addition problem. And I'm going to put the bigger number, 3.5, on top. Now, you will notice that 1 half and 7 eighths have different denominators. And you can't add fractions together with unlike denominators. So what we need to do is we need to change one of these. Now, I know, because I know my math facts, that... Uh, 8 is a multiple of 2 because 8 is an even number. So the way that we could uh, convert these into like denominators is by changing 1 half into an equivalent fraction. It would have to be equivalent to eighths. So how many eighths are in 1 half? Well, 2 times 4 is 8. So 
I can use that same formula, multiplying the top number by 4, to get my equivalent number of 8s. And what's 1 times 4? Well, that would be 4. So 3 and a half is the same as saying 3 and 4 eighths. So 3 and 4 eighths plus 7 eighths. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add 4 eighths plus 7 eighths. And 4 plus 7, that is going to give me 11. 11 eighths. And then I'm going to bring down that 3, and that gives me 3 and 11 eighths. Well, that's a complicated number. I need to convert that into a mixed number because I can't have a mixed number with an improper fraction. So I'm going to employ some division. How many groups of 8 eighths can I get out of 11? Or how many whole numbers can I get out of 11 eighths? Well, I can only get one group of 8 out of 11 because 8 times 2 is 16 and that's too big. So I subtract the difference and I'm left with 3. 3 what? Well, 3 eighths. 3 eighths is a fractional remainder. So 3 and 11 eighths is the same as saying 3 plus 1 and 3 eighths. And that would give me a total of 4 and 3 eighths. So the first step in this problem is solve. I know that I need 4 and 3 eighths cups of food to feed these dogs per day. Next, I'm going to read the second part of this problem. Santiago wants to buy enough food to feed Buddy and Cody for two weeks. Each bag of food sold at the store weighs six pounds. One cup of food weighs about four ounces. Okay, there's a lot of information there. I'm going to break down this part of the question even further. So... He wants to feed Buddy and Cody for two weeks. So I need to take the second part of my problem. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the amount of food that the, both dogs need per day, which is four and three-eighths cups per day, and I need to multiply that by the number of days in two weeks. Okay, well... One week is seven, and seven times two is 14, so I need 14 groups of four and three-eighths. So that's a multiplication problem. Now, that's a multiplication problem that has a mixed number, so I'm going to solve that using partitioning rectangles because both 14 and four and three-eighths are numbers that have two place values. Now, 14 is a group of 10 plus 4 1's. 4 and 3 8's is 4 1's and 3 8's or a fraction of a whole number. So this is how I'm going to approach this problem. I'm going to multiply 10 times 4 which gives me 40. I'm going to multiply 4 times 4 that gives me 16. Easy enough. Now I'm going to multiply my fractions and remember when I'm multiplying fractions I'm only multiplying the numerator. 4 times 3 gives me 12, 12 eighths, and 10 times 3 is going to give me 30, 30 eighths. So now I have my four partial products, which are 40, 16, 30 eighths, and 12 eighths. And you'll see that these four digits seem to be floating, uh, but what I've really done is I've lined them up so that they are part of their place values. I lined up the tens, the ones, and then the fractions. So now I'm adding 30 plus 12, because again, I'm only adding the numerators, not the denominators. So 30 plus 12 is going to give me 42, 42 eighths. 0 plus 6, of course, is 6, and then 4 plus 1 is 5. So I'm left with 56 cups and 42 eighths of a cup. And again, same problem we had over here. We can't have a mixed number with an improper fraction attached to it, so I've got to figure out how many groups of 8 eighths I can get out of 42 eighths. Well, I know that 
8 times 5 is 40. And if I subtract the difference, I'm left with 2. 2 what? 2 eighths. So 42 eighths is the same as saying 5 and 2 eighths cups. So again, I'm going to take this amount, 56. And I'm going to add it to 5 and 2 eighths. And if I add those two amounts together, that's going to give me a total of, whoops, make that a little bigger. It's going to give me a total of 61 and 2 eighths cups. This is how much two dogs, Buddy and Cody, will need to eat in two weeks' time. Okay. Now, each bag of food is sold at the store weighing six pounds. And one cup of food weighs about four ounces. So, two more steps. First, I got to figure out how many ounces does 61 and 2 eighths cups give me. And then I need to figure out how many bags of food I would have to buy to get that amount of uh, pounds. Okay? So, it tells me here that one cup of food weighs about four ounces. So... In order to figure out the number of ounces, I need to take the number of cups, which we just found out was 61 and 2 eighths. We need to multiply that by 4. So again, we're going to involve some uh, multiplication. Let's use partitioning rectangles again. This time, it's going to be 3 boxes by 1 row. Okay. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to multiply everything by 4. I'm going to multiply 60 times 4. I'm going to multiply 1 times 4. And I'm going to multiply 2 eighths by 4. 61 and 2 eighths. So 6 times 4 is 24. So 60 tens is going to give me 24 tens when I multiply by 4, otherwise known as 240. 4 times 1 is 4. And then 4 times 2 eighths is going to give me 8 eighths. We'll come back to that in a second. So now I'm going to add 240 plus 4 plus 8 eighths. Now, before we get any farther, what's another way of us thinking about 8 eighths? Well, that would be the same as saying one whole. So what I can do here is I can just cross out 8 eighths and replace it with 1 here. So now I'm going to add 4 plus 1, that gives me 5. Four, bring down the 4, bring down the 2, and that's 245 ounces, OZ. Alright, last step, home stretch here. I need to know how many bags of food I need to get uh, if the bags of food come in 6 pound amounts. So then, what we want to do here is we want to take that six pounds right here, and we need to multiply that by the number of ounces there are in a pound, and that's 16 ounces per pound. So 16 times 6, 6 times 6 is 36, 6 times 1 is 6, plus 3 more is 96, now that's 96 ounces per bag, so I have 96 ounces per bag. I have 245 ounces that I need for two weeks of feeding puppies. So the last step that I need to perform is to divide 96 into 245. Now you may look at that problem and think to yourself, we haven't covered that in fourth grade yet. Never fear, I have a strategy for you. You see, division is just the mere opposite of multiplication. And what is multiplication? But repeated addition. So, how many groups of 96 can I get out of 245? Well, that's the same as saying, what is 96 plus 96 going to give me? 6 plus 6 is 12. Carry the 1. 1 plus 9 is 10. It's 192. That's still not enough food. So let's add another 96 ounces to that. 2 plus 6 is 8. 9 plus 9 is also 8, 18.
carry the one. That leaves me with 288 ounces. More than enough for me to feed two dogs for two weeks. Whew, that's a lot of calculation. So, how many groups of 96 was that? Well, I have one group here and one group here. Those are my two. Then there's a third. So that gives me three groups or three bags. Three bags of 96 ounces, otherwise known as six pounds. So how many bags will Santiago need? Well, he will need three bags. And that, my friends, is how we come up with that answer. A lot of steps, a lot of figuring. We were uh, applying a lot of different skills that we uh, accumulated over the course of our fourth grade year. But that's kind of why this lesson in Unit 8, Lesson 11, was left towards the end of your fourth grade year. Boys and girls, you can do this stuff. It's just taking it one step at a time. If you have questions on any of the steps that uh, were involved in solving problem number one, feel free to reach out to your math teachers. Now then, take a look at these other problems. These should seem a lot easier, a lot fewer steps. You will be able to breeze right through them. Hope you have fun trying out these problems, and hey, who doesn't love puppies? <laughs>